I loved Midnight Special. One of the things that I love about it is seeing this type of film in which the sci-fi special effects don't eclipse the humanity, mm -hmm. what's recognizable about us in the story. It's almost like a modern day Bible story. I've thought about it that way too a little bit. Did you really? It's interesting, when you talk to Jeff, he sees it as an anti-religion story. But I'm like, when you grow, grow up in the South, you can't help being influ be influenced by that story, of course. It's like ingrained in you. So I definitely think there were elements. When I was working on the roles, those were like the one of the, one of the, one of the main resources for me. And there you are as, as a mother of a child who has extraordinary supernatural gifts and there are evil forces after the child and you are helping to yeah. keep the child. I'm the He's disciple. the disciple, yeah. There you are. Yeah. yeah. The only thing we're missing is a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> I think we don't have a donkey. But, you know, it's never too late. <laughs> I, I saw it as a kind of a, a movie that, that speaks about faith in general. And, and also, also, yes. also an expanded kind of... And it also allows for the expansion of that idea when, when you look up to the stars and you, you have that kind of insignificant feeling of what else is out there, who else is out there, and, and therefore what does it mean that we're spinning around on this little planet? Right. Um, why are we here? You yeah. know? And that is another aspect. We get the feeling that we're not alone. Mm. You seem to attach to films that have family as a theme. There is Warrior, mm -hmm. um, The Great Gatsby, Tom. Would you say that family is a theme in Midnight Special? Absolutely. Yes, of course. It's the main you know, theme. And I also think. the idea of, you know, I think for Jeff, the, the kind of insemination of, of the idea was, was about being a parent knowing that in the next room when he had his young son, his son was unaware that there were two people in the room next door who were willing to lay down their life to protect him. And yet at some point as he evolves, they'll have to let go of him in some way. Yeah. Is it true that this movie was shot under two months' time? Did, did, how long did it take? Roughly Maybe. two months time. Uh, Kirsten and I act fast, man. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we finished a month early. <laughs> yeah, that was about two months. And look, Jeff shoots most most things practically. There uh -huh. is special effects in the movie, obviously, but whatever he could do practically, he would do the lights in the eyes of the child and yeah. I think aspects. that's why it feels so human too. Like what you were saying before, it it, it feels so real. So when things come out in the film that are unexpected, they really shock you. They really Because do. it does feel very grounded You're in reality. You're also hooked into the people. Like, you did such a wonderful job at getting across the loneliness of the mother, because she's an outcast, she's an outsider. Yeah. And loneliness Thank does you. something to you after a while. I th you, you, you translated that so well. Thank you. Well, she's definitely a woman. I think sometimes when people go through so much trauma, it almost makes them a more graceful person. Right because they live really in the moment with whatever's happening, and I kind of saw her in that way. You have to be brave to be a good actor, which both of you are, to, to commit and, you know, who knows how the public's going to accept some of the things you do. Being, having said that about bravery, is it true that you were a bit afraid to sing in public? To sing in public? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm terrified yes, of it actually, to be honest. Yes, I'm terrified. Why do you ask? <laughs> because you were, in, you were in the movie Kinky Boots. Yeah. You played Charlie and Kinky Boots. Yeah, I don't mind wearing high heels, oh, it's right. weird, but <laughs> singing is a different story. Well, the, the movie went on to become a hit Broadway musical comedy. I never if, got the phone call, Sam. If you were offered the chance to repeat the role of Charlie in a movie version of the Broadway musical, would you sing? Would you wear the kinky boots? I, I, I love singing. The, the question is, I don't not love singing. It's just people don't love hearing me sing. <laughs> There's a difference. Like, I could I could have a concert. Yes. Just what would the ticket price be? And I, I feel like it would be a negative cost because I would have to pay you to come. I just never really got the vocal gymnastics. I love acting. I will do the weirdest stuff. I've done the weirdest stuff on stage. I don't even want to run through it here. Well, we singing terrifies me. It's weird. I, I, I understand the feeling. We love your acting and yours. Let me Thank tell you, you, my ticket prices, when the movie opens, when Midnight Special opens, I'm paying to see it again. Oh, that's so sweet of you. I loved it that much. Awesome.